Chris Simon here. I'm going to drop you right in. <laughs> I know you are. Yeah. Called Chris Junior. Well, I'll tell you what. No, talk Let, to me straight. All right. No, listen. This is this was Simon on. You your can't son. hurt my feelings. No, listen. You can't this was Simon on your son. Yeah. Listen, Chris Eubank Junior. For me, is a charlatan. I, I think he's a great media personality. I think he's one of the best people that talk to the media. He's got himself to being one of the most billable, bankable fighters in British boxing without actually winning anything. The tragedy for Chris Eubank is all that I've been saying along, all along, about noise and houses in Las Vegas and who he's going to fight and when he's going to fight for a world title are superseded by performances in the ring. At the level when we get to the point where you're fighting bona fide fighters that have won world titles... Name them. Let's name them, shall we? Billy Joe Saunders, George Groves, Liam Smith. How did it get on for him? He lost them all. He's a charlatan, is he? Uh, uh, you know, if in, in the world of honesty, how, how can I disagree with you? You're not talking to a man who's not anybody. I'm not, you can't have friends in boxing. So he's a charlatan, is he? I guess my silence says it all. My silence says it. Truth is truth. This fellow is talking about, you know, I said to Junior. Him, it you, was him who was talking on, about it. Hold on, said it. hold on. I said, I said to Junior, you won the IBO championship of the world. Okay. Now everyone is dogging it and saying, oh, that's a, a title from a cornflake, a cornflake packet. Yeah. They said worse about the WBO. I explained to Junior, you have to tell the public, you don't know what I had to do to go through. You don't know what I had to go through to get this IBO championship. You're not in the world I'm in. So you can disrespect it, but I know what I've had to do. That's how I defended the WBO, which, which it turns out, uh, the Nigel Benn fight, they say, uh, is the best fight ever seen since 1909. This is the British... Uh, this is the British uh, boxing news. Yeah. Okay, hold on. But they were they always trashed the WBO. I said to Junior, fight for your championship. Tell the, It's not physical fight. Fight in word. Tell them you don't know what I had to do for it, but he didn't do that. So the IBO still sits in that position of being trashed. Let me tell you this. The WBO. If it's responsible for being, uh, or for giving one of the best performances ever seen in the British boxing ring, mm-hmm. So how then, how, how then does Nigel Benn come out ahead of Michael Watson? So I'm on tour with, with Nigel Benn. I'm on tour with him. Okay, it, it's good. But it's shameful when you look at Michael Watson. Michael Watson beat him. Okay, he beat him. Clearly, he quit in that fight. In the second fight I had with him, he beat me. Almost to death. I nearly died that night, but how can I talk about me? when he had six brain operations in the in the space of uh, 12 hours. Of course. The, the, the point I'm making to you is this. How come Michael Watson isn't getting these plaudits? It shouldn't be Nigel Benn. I don't mind that he's getting it, but let's respect Michael Watson because he put in a performance of which no one has seen in a British ring. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.